I'm Surya Samaravira. I caught up with Ms. Seema Malhotra, Honourable Member of Parliament for Feltham and Heston and the Shadow Minister for tackling uh, violence against women and uh, girls during her election campaign in Hounslow this afternoon. Ms. Malhotra, could you please tell us how are you doing with the campaign today? The campaign has been really energetic and it's been a really important weekend. We've seen the postal votes come out, so we know that thousands of people have had postal votes landing on their doorstep. So we want to remind them about the election. We want to remind them to vote quickly. We want to remind them about what the Labour Party stands for and what our priorities are in this election. So doing that, being out in the community, I've been in the church, the Gudwara, and now going also to a festival this afternoon, then to uh, visit the Muslim community and then to see the Somalian uh, community as well so a lot happening. Hounslow has a large Sri Lankan community. What does this election mean to them please? I have done a lot of work with the Sri Lankan community in Hounslow and the Hounslow Janahanda Foundation really has been a trailblazer for 10 years about how the link stays strong with Sri Lanka and between uh, diaspora communities in the UK, how you can also fundraise and support for charities and deal with disadvantage, but also here the needs of the Sri Lankan community around work, access to health services, immigration, those are the issues where I have certainly seen a lot of casework and we've worked very closely so that we can make sure that there is access to those services and going forward for the election that we tackle exploitative zero hours contracts, we're bringing in 48 hour GP appointments if Labour wins, more doctors, more nurses, more healthcare workers. That's going to be very important for Sri Lankan families here but also immigration whether it's uh, just those who are who haven't heard from the Home Office yet or those who are wanting to have relatives come over to visit. Those are issues as well that make a big difference to family life. Now, Sri Lankans celebrated their new year on 14th April this year. Uh, recently, you attended the new year celebration organized by Hounslow Sri Lanka Janhan Foundation. You and Mr. Ed Milliman, the leader of the Labour Party, issued new year messages. How did you find the event, please? The event was uh, really wonderful and I've been I think every year now and uh, certainly the leader of the Labour Party Ed Miliband had sent a very uh, a, a message of support for the event. Unfortunately he was unable to make it though we had tried very hard with his diary and I was able to attend uh, along with local councillors uh, and MPs n nearby and, uh, and, and candidates and that was very important and the message really was to wish everybody a very happy Sanala and Tamil New Year and to recognise at this time also the contribution of all Sri Lankans to the UK, the contribution all that make in terms of uh, the economy, business, so many here in the business community, in our public services, in culture. I've seen that very strongly locally and also how there is so much integration between the uh, Sri Lankan community and others. It is a strong statement about how we are stronger in the world when we are together, about when we look at what unites us, not what divides us, and how we celebrate everybody regardless of background. Ms. Thank you very much. I wish you all the very best. Thank you.